Hey there, are you wondering if your tight hamstring is causing your knee problem? Well, if that's you, I'm going to be talking to you today about reasons why your hamstring could, could cause knee pain and also what to begin to do about it. My name is Dr. David Minoff. I've been helping people out with knee problems for years. I'm a specialist manual physical therapist over at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy. And tight hamstrings is something that we see in just about everybody with knee problems. But we help them out with these tight hamstring issues. And of course, their knee problems resolve and they get back to doing all the things they love to do. One of the first questions that we get from our clients with knee problems is how can tight hamstrings hurt my knee? And the answer to this is simple. Around the knee joint, there's a ton of muscles that attach. The calf muscles from the lower leg, the, the front of the thigh has what we call the quad muscles, and then on the back of the thigh are the hamstring muscles. And up in the hip joint, there's a bunch of muscles around the hips, the glutes, the hip flexors, the abdominals influence the hips as well. All of these muscles have to be in a proper balance in order for the forces going through the knee joint to be normal so that it's healthy and there isn't any aggravation of, of the knee in any way. Um, but if you feel that your hamstrings are tight, then chances are there's some muscle imbalance somewhere and it's changing the forces within your knee and leading to some discomfort. Now, it may not be the root of the problem, the hamstring tightness, but it's a sign that there's something going on. So then the next question that people have after I give them that answer is, why do hamstrings get tight? Well, this answer is, it goes back to the muscle imbalance. Most of the time, in about seven out of 10 people who have tight hamstrings with a knee problem, it's a glute muscle weakness. The butt muscles are weak, or they're not doing their job. They might actually be strong, but they're not working at the right times. And the hamstrings are typically the first muscle to begin to take over the stability and, and all the activity that the glutes aren't doing. And it, you can get by like that. You can still walk and run and do all the things that you might need to do, except that it's with the wrong muscle group. And over time, it begins to press on the cartilage. It can begin to irritate nerves. It can um, mess with the ligaments and the tendons around the knee joint. And uh, if, if this goes on for years or even decades, you might get arthritis or other conditions that people commonly get in the knee. But it's not necessarily the hamstring's fault. We look more so up, up in the hip or even down into the foot. Sometimes there's foot issues that contribute to the hamstrings wanting to take over more. So if the glutes are, are not active enough, then the hamstrings, because they're the, the next muscle next door to the glutes, if you go down the leg, um, they tend to take over and, and cause some bad forces around the knee joint. Of course, the next question that we get from our clients is, what do I do about my tight hamstrings? How do I strengthen my glutes or do I even, what's next? So what we tell our clients is, if you're stretching your hamstrings, because most of them are, stop stretching. It's not the first thing to do and, and you don't want to aggressively stretch your hamstrings. One of the bad things that can happen if you are aggressively stretching your hamstrings, you wanna stop it right now, um, there's reflexes inside of muscles. When you start to stretch a muscle, the harder you go, if you reach a certain threshold, a certain point of stretching, there's little reflexes that go off inside the muscle that actually make the muscle wanna contract. So if you stretch your hamstrings real, real hard, the muscle will actually wanna shorten and that's not good because you're going to be working against yourself on the stretch. You might actually start to stretch out the, the tendons or injure the muscle somehow. So it is not a good productive thing. It, in the long term, it's going to make your hamstring even tighter. And the other effect of stretching is it doesn't last very long. If you do a, a proper stretch, you do it kind of light and you actually do get a lengthening effect, it, that, that can happen and it might give you some short term pain relief but it isn't gonna solve the knee pain problem. We've got to address the knee pain problem at the root, which like I said, in seven out of 10 cases, it's up in the glutes. We've gotta strengthen the glutes. And a really neat thing happens once we start to get proper use and strength of the glute muscles is the hamstrings on their own calm down. They free up and it normalizes the forces at the knee so that the cartilage isn't being compressed, the meniscus isn't being torn, the uh, tendons, the ligaments are all fine, and your knee starts to feel better. Begin, it begins to become easier to get up out of a chair and walk. It, it, you can stand longer and walk longer. Um, you know, if you go to the store, you're not having to lean on the shopping cart so much to offload the knee. It just helps the hamstring out so that it, in turn, takes pressures off the knee joint. So YouTube friends, if you found this video was helpful for you, if you've got tight hamstrings, 
Hopefully you stop stretching them right away and you start to look at strengthening your glutes. If you're looking for glute strengthening exercises, head over to the playlist on our homepage for YouTube where uh, there's tons of videos. If you look at the knee videos, also the sciatica and back videos, there's some videos in there that talk about glute strengthening exercises. There's tons of videos on there for strengthening the glutes. Um, also, if you found this video was helpful for you, give us a like. Please hit that little thumbs up like button right there. Um, and please subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button over there so that you can get notified whenever we release new videos that are helpful in your health. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.